What's going on everybody, it's Mudden31, and today we're going to do a Titan tier list. So my weapon tier list went pretty well, kind of. Uh, it was pretty well received. I think we had some different opinions on some of the, on some of the weapons, but uh, I think that it was by and large pretty well received, maybe. Yeah, so we're going to do a Titan tier list. It's going to go the same way. I'm going to rate the Titans based on what I think um, as far as how effective they are in a game, how easily a new player can pick them up and play them. And I'll make arguments for each one and give you guys my full opinion. Uh, please, if you guys enjoy the video, hit the like button, hit the sub button, comment down below how wrong I am. Uh, please go check out my Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10.30 a.m. EST. I stream Titanfall 2 and Apex. And yeah, go follow me over there as well to see me live. And yeah, let's get on the video. All right, so first, we're just going to do these in order. So we got the Ion. Um, yeah. Yeah, the Ion's a C-tier Titan. So here's the thing with the Ion. The Ion is ease of use, meaning that the, the Titan is really easy to pick up and play uh, for new players, but there's some, there's some different mechanics like energy consumption and things like that whenever you're using the splitter rifle and the uh, trip mines that you're really not going to understand. Uh, unless you get told by someone or unless you teach yourself how to do it. But I really don't think the Ion is as good as people give it credit for. I really think that it lacks in a lot of ways where the other Titans are just better. It seems to be a jack of all trades, but a master of absolutely nothing, to be super honest. So I think it definitely belongs in the C tier. Uh, it's one redeeming quality is the laser shot, you know, for goosing Titans and things like, or goosing uh, pilots whenever they get other Titans and things like that. But, but really, that's about where I would put the, <laughs> the Ion. All right, so now we got the Legion Titan. Uh, this one's kind of tough for me, to be honest. Uh, Legion was my first ever main in Titanfall. But I really think he's a B-tier Titan. Uh, so he's an Ogre-class Titan. He has tons of health. But where he lacks is up-close combat. Uh, and p people are going to disagree with me. People are going to go, oh, well, he's got the shotgun, minigun, and he's got his Predator cannon. He can sneeze on you and kill you and delete you instantly. But when you have a Ronin or a Scorch, it's irrelevant. Like, that Legion's done. Uh, if you get within a certain distance, uh, I think that the Legion uh, excels and just destroys people. Like, if you think Blackwater Canal, if someone's across the bridge from you, a Legion Titan will destroy you nine times out of ten. But if you make, if you cover that distance, a uh, Legion Titan is going to have a much uh, much tougher time. So it's less versatile uh, than some of these other Titans. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to skip these. I'm going to do the Monarch. Monarch is an S tier Titan, in my opinion. Monarch is extremely versatile in what it can do. If you put the correct upgrades on it, which, in my opinion, is the XO, the Maelstrom, and then the Superior Chassis, I think that it is an unstoppable Titan. I have played in games where I have sat in the Monarch the entire match after I got my first Titan and have never died, never gotten close to dying. And it's because you can control the flow of battle. You have extra shields you have missiles that do a ton of damage and you can farm grunts and attrition for that extra bit to, to get your cores and she acceler and she excels at every kinds of combat the thing that she has the tough time with is you need to keep your distance from ronins and scorches just like legion just like every titan on this list to be honest because if they get in tight with you it's a lot harder to kill them but if you can stay away uh from those other titans and just farm your cores farm your cores if you can get to exo uh, the XO upgrade or even like Maelstrom. Maelstrom will make you a close range threat. XO makes you a medium to long range threat. And really the Monarch is the best Titan in the game in my opinion. And it's really hard to combat against her uh, in most situations. And so I think that she definitely sits at the uh, the S tier for this list. Uh, next, we'll do Tone. I'm going to say Tone's another B tier Titan. He is... Tone's okay. Sounds all right. He has like, he's a one trick pony. He's got his shield and he's got his rockets. He doesn't really do much else. He doesn't really have a lot of things. Uh, he's very good at uh, controlling lanes. And most of Titan's fall, Titanfall's maps are three lane maps. So he's very good at controlling those lanes. Uh, but a lot of what the other Titans do better than the Tone, Tone just kind of like falls flat. Uh, there are better long range fighters, i.e. Legion, i.e. Northstar. There's better close range fighters, Ronin and Scorch. And there's better uh, medium range, which would be the Monarch. And I think the Ion is probably the only Titan that I would really put under uh, the Tone. Uh, next, we're going to do the Ronin. Ronin is, my, is, in my opinion, other S-tier Titan. 
I think that the Ronin, when it is learned, it is a harder Titan to learn than almost every other one on the list, uh, except for the North Star. I think the North Star is the hardest to learn. Ronin is is damn near unstoppable. It's really hard to win. And where the Monarch needs upgrades, the Ronin does not need upgrades to get as good. But when the Monarch gets upgraded, it's better than the Ronin, if that makes sense. So I think the Ronin is out of the box a better Titan than the Monarch. But as the Monarch gets better, it becomes better than the Ronin. So I definitely think that the Ronin uh, belongs in the S tier. Its sword is incredible. Its shotgun's incredible. Its escape is incredible. The fact that you can block 75% of incoming damage, and then when you get your sword core, it's 90%. I mean, it's just, you, you can't beat them. You really can't. Uh, next, for the A tier Titans, uh, this is my opinion. Uh, both of these are going to end up in the A tier. North Star. North Star could be an S tier Titan. North Star could be very good. North Star is just really hard to use, and not in the sense of mechanical uh abilities and things like that it's mostly positioning and north star is extremely squishy like it's a glass cannon it really is and so if you get anywhere from, other than long range you're, you're toast you're done if a ronin if, if any of these other titans get up on you you're pretty much gonna die so playing uh on longer ranges as much as you can you know i would probably not pick this titan if i was playing you know complex for you know for say but I think that the North Star belongs in A tier because it's a Titan deletion device is what that plasma railgun is. If you can charge it up, I mean, it just doles out tons of damage. You can kill pilots very easily with your cluster missiles. And if you put on Viper thrusters, your escape ability becomes, it, it becomes pretty on par with the Ronin. Not as good, but it's really close. Uh, and the next is the Scorch. I actually don't play Scorch that much to be super fair with you guys. But where I have seen Scorch excel is close range combat. And the best thing that Scorch has going for him is the fact that he has tons of health. He has really good weapons and his shield is a weapon and his shield blocks all incoming damage so that if you're not in close range, it is very easy to get within close range to be able to toast those other Titans. Literally, literally toast them. Toasty pilots. Scorch likes his pilots. Well done. But yeah, I think that he belongs A tier. He's very easy to pick up and play. He's not super hard to learn. But I think that in my, my few games, I've had some pretty good success with him. I don't think he's super hard to figure out. And I think once you do, you'll have a good time playing him. He's just fun. You know, his, uh, his, main, uh, his main attack, the little thermite launcher, it's just fun when you goose someone with it. It's fun when you hit the midair. You know, they think they're being fancy grappling or stemming around you. And then you just, you literally turn them into baked chicken. And it's so fun to watch. But I think that he definitely belongs in the A tier. Uh, a little side note, though, on all these Titans. Any of these Titans can beat any of these titans in the hands of a good pilot so while i might put the ion at the c tier at the lowest because i think that is it is the entry level titan easiest to learn but it's also the weakest the ion when piloted by someone with superior skill can beat a north star scorch monarch ronin legion tone i think a shitty pilot in a monarch or a ronin will get destroyed by an ion so i really think that most of these titans uh while i believe that they lend themselves to strength and weaknesses and that's why i've rated them the way i have i think it really depends on pilot skill as well so if you have someone who's really good they're going to destroy with all their titans uh it doesn't really matter what you put them in they're going to do well so this is where i put all the titans you know s tier is going to be the monarch and the ronin a tier is the north star and the scorch b tier is legion and tone and then we have ion for the c tier and the D tier is empty because of the viability of all the Titans. I don't really think that there's any weaknesses that make them unplayable or unusable or whatever. But yeah, so that's my uh, Titan <laughs> my Titan tier list. I'm, prepared, I'm ready to get flame to the comments. Please, if you guys made it this far, hit the sub button, like the video. Leave a comment below what your Titan tier list is. I'm looking forward to see what it is, and I'll see you guys in the next video.